Hey guys, this is Coach Michelle coming to you live from Atlanta. It is almost 2020. It is almost 2020. I'm excited and I wanted to do a marathon of videos, short videos for you guys so you can um, prepare for 2020 and make sure you close out 2019 with a bang. So this is Coach Michelle. For those of you that don't know me, I love, 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 love serving. I love helping individuals start their business, grow their business. You guys can find out more about me by visiting Facebook. I am Coach Michelle. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell so you can be notified when the next video drops because I am going hard in the paint right now. So the next tip for today is, let's see, how to create a triple win. It's very important, guys. I don't do anything if I am not creating at a minimum a triple win. Real simple, whenever you're putting together your marketing, your advertising, what uh, a presentation, you're going out to do a lunch and learn, think about how you can create a triple win. And when you create that triple win, it's about making somebody else's life easier, benefiting someone else. And you and I and I personally, right? So this is my belief as an entrepreneur and as a, a person, a mom, a wife is that if I put myself last, I will always win as well because I want everyone around me to win. So if I set them up for success, I'm going to be happy and I'm going to win as well. So whenever you are going out and you're doing your lunch and learns or any of those things, think about how you are creating a triple win. The nugget from this I want you to take away is speak their language speak their language so when you're going out to create that triple win whomever you're talking to you're presenting to create a triple win by speaking their language and you may say coach what do you mean speak their language i'm i'm, I'm speaking english I'm, I'm i'm bilingual you need to be bilingual but not in language you need to be in uh, bilingual by understanding the industry language right so that's what i mean when i say speak their language the industry language so if you're going to hospice you want to talk about things that are going to benefit hospice a hospice agency things that are going to benefit someone that is uh, 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 receiving hospice care, someone that is a family member of someone receiving hospice care. You don't want to go in there talking about things that are irrelevant, right? A lot of times, excuse my word right now, but for lack of a better word, you go in there and throw up on them. Guys, you got to stop throwing up. When you throw up on someone, that means it's about me. Me, 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 me. I want you to understand how much I know. I want to show you that I'm smart. I want to show you that I know what I'm talking about. Guys, people don't care about that. They care about what they care about, their needs. So you put their needs first and, and, and you speak their language. So if it's home health, you want to you, you wanna make sure you understand home health because a lot of times home health could be thinking of home care as a competitor. Right, So you explain to them how you're not a competitor and how you're looking to build a relationship with them and how your services can serve them and the client. Right, So if it's serving them, that's a win. If it's serving the client, that's a win. If it's serving a caregiver, that's a win and you're going to win. Remember, I touched on this briefly in the last video. So you want to make sure if you're going out, you may go to, so let me give you some examples, um, quick, quick, quick examples. You may go to hospice and talk to them about how your caregiver um, uh, understands the human touch and how to communicate with someone that cannot verbally communicate. So if you're going to home health, you may be talking to them about how you can um, step in, your caregiver can provide range of motion put benef uh, 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 services, care, range of motion, which is going to help that person recover. That person may be getting physical therapy, whatever the case may be, right? So if you are building a relationship with um, assisted living, I talked about that. You can see the last video I uh, completed about assistant living, right? Helping them keep their residence there when the residence level of care has changed. So if you're building a relationship with... Um, uh, someone, a community, right? A local um, nonprofit community um, center or organization. 
right? So you may build a relationship with them and speak their language about raising funds or donations. So you may do a coat drive, you may do a food drive, you may do a shoe drive. So you are gathering things that will help them. It's going to help the population they serve, but guess what? It's going to also save money because if they get those things free through donations, then the money that they come, they have coming in through grants and donations and things like that, monetary donations, then they can use those things on something else, right? So those are some examples on how you can build those triple wins and how you can really serve your community. So... That's the nugget to take from this. So again, make sure you like the video, subscribe. I'm on a roll, guys. I want to give you guys as much information as I can off the top of my head real quick. So make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified when the next video drop. You can also learn more about us on myhomecarecoach.com and definitely follow me on Facebook at I am Coach Michelle. And Michelle has one L. Take care. God bless.